Right now, the state Supreme Court is hearing oral arguments in a case revisiting the 2022 decision to ban ballot drop boxes in Wisconsin. 12 News' Mallory Anderson joins us live now from a rally outside of the Milwaukee Public Library at 27th and Fond du Lac. Mallory, this is just one of several rallies today pushing to bring the drop boxes back. Right, Jaron, the rally here in Milwaukee just wrapped up about 10 minutes ago, but there are five happening across Wisconsin from Green Bay to as far west as Eau Claire. And it's all over these ballot drop boxes that have been covered since 2022. Today's rallies are in support of reinstating ballot drop boxes as an option for Wisconsin voters. It was nearly two years ago in a four to three ruling that the state's high court banned Wisconsin voters from using drop boxes. It was a win for Republicans who challenged the use after the 2020 election and immense criticism from former President Donald Trump. The voter rights advocates demonstrating today say working Wisconsinites should be able to vote easily and safely via boxes. They go on to say making it harder to vote is out of touch with Wisconsin values. I'm here to ask the Supreme Court to please reinstate drop boxes in our state for our next election cycle and those to come so we can continue to make sure that everyone in our state has the right to vote. Anybody that has the power to exercise their right should be able to do it in a safe, efficient, and secure manner. Working Wisconsinites should be able to vote easily and safely. Making it harder to vote is out of step with all of the values of Wisconsin. So the drop boxes make sense. Is that right? So attorneys for the Republican National Committee and the Wisconsin Republican Party say that changing the ruling now would lead to a wave of legal challenges. The justices started hearing oral arguments around 945 this morning. No decision is expected today, but we should expect a decision before the November election. Mallory Anderson reporting live for us this morning outside of the Milwaukee Public Library near 27th and Fond du Lac. Mallory, thank you.